So Shindle Life has finally been updated, which means I can make another tier list. So let's just start by showing the old tier list. This is what it used to look like. Uh, for this new tier list, I will be adding a PvE section. So they've made 14 or so videos about like balance updates, balance changes. So there's no new bloodline to add. I will just be reorganizing the top tiers. Some stuff from the Booty Cheeks tier, you know, they will be going up. And some things from top tier will be going down. So yeah, let's just stop. Alright, let's just go over the PvE tier. So, you know, it's just Apollo Sand, Shadow, uh, Xenodokai, Crystal, Emerald, Kamaki, Amethyst. Uh, if this is an order, but it doesn't really matter because they all just get the job done, you know. So, let's just go on to the next tier. Alright, so this is the buns tier. Basically, if you get anything in this tier, you just want to re-roll immediately. You don't actually want anything in this tier. This tier sucks. So, any of these, just re-roll. Uh, yeah. Next tier. Okay, this tier is the mid. These are basically... You don't really want these bloodlines, but it's okay if you get them. Like, it's not gonna ruin your entire game experience if you get one of these bloodlines. You can still, like, beat people in PvP. You can still play the game nice. They're still pretty good, but you don't really want them. So respin if you get them, but if you can't respin, that's okay too. Now this is the good tier. Basically anything in this tier you want to keep. Especially the ones near the top, because this list, unlike the uh, other three I showed you, are, is actually ordered. So Dark Jokai will be much better than Sengoku, which is at the bottom. You might notice that some previously trash bloodlines have moved up, like Ice for example, that is because they got insane buffs, which now carry the bloodline entirely. So if you see any of these pop up in the spin, keep it, unless you have uh, a free bloodline spot to spin in. Okay, so now we're on to the best tier. Now, obviously these bloodlines are going to be the best in the entire game, and so I'm going to describe exactly why they belong in these tiers. So I'm just going to start. Uh, What's this called again? Doku Tengoku, pretty good, really good combo potential, high damage, decent bloodline altogether, good mode. Alright, next. We have Snake Man, obviously this is based off of Luffy from One Piece. Uh, the moves are unique because they have really good combo potential, all of them do different things, uh, no GCD. And they change when you go into mode. Speaking of the mode, the mode is like one of the most balanced modes in the entire game. It has a block breaker, a stun, and a counter. Next up we have Headless. Headless... Pretty much all the same as Snake Man, except just a little bit better. Then we have Pika Senko. Now this is based off of Kizaru from One Piece, which is ironic because, you know, everybody knows that Luffy smokes Kizaru. But yeah, it has really good iframes on the moves, modes busted. Uh, just got buffed recently, that's why it's all the way up here in this top tier. But yeah, next is Ray Carida. Extremely good stuns on the moves, extremely good, decent mode. Uh... Good specs, good specs. Now, Diva Rengoku, which is also One Piece. Sorry, Whitebeard from One Piece. This is a super good bloodline. It has a nice block breaker, high damage. Uh, good combo potential, especially in 1v1s. In team fights, it's not that good, apart from the last move, which is super good for team fights. It has a counter on the mode, uh, really good combo potential with the mode specs also. Ash and Storm, honestly carried by a single move, which provides a ton of iframes and a nice air combo star. The mode is decent, the other moves are okay, but that is the main reason why it's in this tier. Now, Subaru Raiden, I believe this is. Or Raiden Subaru, e either way, either. Uh, this is Kakashi's bloodline. You can go full Susanoo with this, really good ranged M1s, nice full form, good mode specs. And a really good counter that actually got nerfed recently. As well as the first move being really good, the second move is useless though, so if you are going to use Subaru Raiden, please refrain from using the second move, you will just get cooked. Now Jokai, this is probably the like most busted thing here. Honestly, I should have put it higher, but it doesn't matter because Arahaki is up there as you can see. So Jokai, uh, insane mode specs, especially C2. C2 has such good mode specs. Like, the C-spec on C2 is insane, lasts like 8 seconds, 70k damage, ton of iframes, uh, captures auto-dodges, sucks multiple players in, super super good, super super good bloodline. 
Next we have Tetsuo Kaijin, really good for 1v1s, not so much for team fights. Uh, the mode is super good, especially with the counter. The counter is super, super good. If you're in team fights though, it can get a bit tricky because people can cancel your counter if they just attack you. And the first move is also just a lock-on ability. It's, sorry, a Taiju 2 ability that just attacks a single person. So that's not very good for team fights. Alright, eyes done. High damage output. That's literally all. High damage output, insane mode, insane speed. This is just like the raw power bloodline of the game. No techs, like nothing special, just high damage. High, high damage. Next up we got Ryan Gaiden, which is actually an EKG, which I don't think any of the previous ones were. So EKGs automatically go higher on the list for me because they can be equipped to element slots. So it's way more useful than having two normal bloodlines than having one EKG and one normal bloodline. Now it has really good combo potential and a super OP move, oh, sorry, <laughs> super OP mode, which uh, you can use to do high damage. Now Powder doesn't actually have a mode, but I'm putting it higher than Ryan Gaiden because of the Powder 2nd. Powder 2nd move is super OP for comboing, and Powder 3rd is a really nice Taijutsu move with a ton of iframes that cancels out auto dodges. Now Surge Rock got rebuffed recently, which is why it's in the top tiers again. So some people may remember the Surge meta when it was super OP and people would just lay traps down everywhere. It's basically that now. Of course it's a little weaker because they didn't want to just make it super busted again. But it is still one of the best bloodlines in the entire game now. Now this is Raikon Prime, super good AoE, high damage, good mode. I'm just going to glaze over that real fast. Alright, Indra Akuma. So this has some really nice combo potential moves and a super OP mode, which also has the tank feature when you press Q you become super tanky and stuff. Yeah, super high ranged M1s, good combo potential, high damage. Baromaki Gaiden. Now, I think this is also an EKG. However, it's only really for single, like, targets. This will not work well in team fights. The only good move for team fights is probably, like, the mode specs. The actual moves of the ability aren't good at all. Now, Getsuga is basically an entirely better version of Baromaki Gaiden. Like, it has a mode draining block breaker stun. Which is one of the most insane moves in the entire game. If you've ever played Shinder Life, you probably encountered it. It's a Rasengan, and it just blows everyone away. And the mode is super OP with uh, the E-Spec. Especially when people mode up, that's even more insane. Alright, we're getting close to the end now. So next up is Ashura Shizan. Now, this has insane auto-tracking, insane chi drain, insane block breakers, insane mode. Super high damage, super high combo potential, super good bloodline overall. Now... This is my personal favorite bloodline on the list. Might be overtaken by a joke I know, but this bloodline is Kamaki Akuma. I'm using the Kamaki Inferno image if that's confusing you by the way. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for it on the list. That is Kamaki Akuma. The mode is insane, especially the first mode. Third mode has super high damage output, super high M1s, all that good stuff that Ashura has. And the first mode has one of the most insane counters in the entire game. Every single time you get hit, you reflect 20,000 damage to the person who hit you for like about 10 whole seconds. So it's a super, super good counter. The mo the moves are okay, but the mode really carries this bloodline. Alright, top two. So we have Jokai, our hockey version. Now this is literally just everything that Jokai is, but better. It has 50% damage increase. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, 50% damage increase and a 2 times range increase on all of the moves. So it makes everything so much easier to combo with. If you fight anyone using Arahaki Jokai, you will most likely get one shot. The rework is that good. I've also made a video about this, so it's going to pop up on the screen now. Top right, click that. That's a really good video. You should watch it. I made it myself. I would know. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why it's this high on the list. Now, Code Gaiden is a completely different matter altogether. I would have liked to put Arahaki Jokai above Go Garden, but the fact that it can disable auto dodges really makes this bloodline stand out from all the other ones. It's just so much better, especially with the traps, the uh, disable auto dodge. It's just a combo like potential god, especially with all, all the high damage moves, the clone summoning, the spam. It's just a spam bloodline. It's so, so awful to fight against. If you ever fought against Go Garden, you probably want to kill yourself. I don't blame you. Alright. Final, final bloodline. The Rel bloodline. Now, 
some of you might be wondering why it's this high, because some of you don't even have the blue line, but there's two moves on this blue line that do 500k damage. Granted, they do have a 1 and 2 hour long cooldown, but that's okay because, you know, you only need to hit them once and then run away, so, yeah. If your cooldowns are done, god to you. If they're not done, mid to you, you know. Anyway. I think that's all I need to go over, so if you enjoyed this video, go check out my other videos. I will release a new teal as soon if this one does not live up to standards, because it's probably going to get outdated super, super fast. But yeah, if you liked the video, subscribe. If you didn't, leave a comment why, and leave a comment on what you would like to change in this teal for the next video. And I'll see you guys next time.